Okay, we're gonna look at ways to build leg strength and core strength in a really, really comfortable, really easy way. So just follow along. Uh, start off by just doing something like this. Nothing special, right? Now, if you can't, if it, even this is a bit uncomfortable, well, that's okay. Just go like that. Okay, so basically you're just going from the onto the side, bend your back a bit, bend over to the side a bit, uh, bend your knees a bit, push your butt, butt out a bit. But don't think about any of that. I'm just saying what's happening. Just reach down and tap the floor, and that's all you gotta do. So, that's one way. That gives you a tiny little bit of a workout, doesn't it? So the idea here is, I'll just switch my eye switch. And always do just the easiest version that's, you know, just, just a version that's completely comfortable. It can, it doesn't have to be strenuous in any way. You don't have to actually spin around. Yeah. So the idea is here, the reason why we're doing this is if in our society these days, like if you want to build strength or something like that, like the obvious way to do it, I mean, I'm sorry, the, the only way you can really do it is with these like programs, right? Like you do yoga, you do yoga, like you do the yoga session, like, or you go to the gym and you do the workout, okay? Check out this one, right? So we're gonna go down on one foot like this. It's like a curtsy. You can even tap that other knee down. Like that. So that's, you know, you have to follow these programs and you have to stick to them and it takes effort and you need to set time aside for them and you have to count your reps and your sets and make sure, like, keep track of, like, how, how you're doing and, like, whether you need to increase the weight and all this stuff. You need to drive somewhere and, you know, you need to, like, use all this willpower, like if it's raining and you usually walk and you're like, oh, I'm gonna go anyway, oh, I'm gonna do it. But, Agwin said to me one time, he's like, aren't, aren't people sick of that by now? I mean, people have been forcing themselves to, to do stuff. Okay, let's go like this. You know, all their lives, aren't they? You wanna try something that's just easy, that you, that you can just kinda do without really any effort. You just that doesn't put up all this resistance. So the idea here is you don't um you don't set aside time for this workout. What I'm showing you is stuff that you can do any time, absolutely any time. Like you can just be in the kitchen getting a snack or 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 some useful food for your body, <laughs> um, but I like snacks. Um, okay, check out this one. It's like a deadlift, right? But you don't go to the point where you're like, um, I don't know, you just don't go into any like, <laughs> right? Like I've done heavy deadlifts. No problem. Um, let's do this, right? So, point one leg out and one leg forward. I'm just got this. And then swap, 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 right? Good. Now, I've deadlifted 115 kilograms. Some people would still say, bro, that's nothing. I've deadlifted over 200 kilograms. But yeah, 100 kilograms is so heavy. Didn't do anything for me. Nothing useful. Yeah, you get mass, you know, but like, if you don't do that completely perfectly, well, you just build tension into your body in all the wrong places. Let's do this. Keep, let's keep doing that one foot out. But now let's go down and touch. You can either touch all the way over here, or you can touch just in front. It's like whatever's comfortable. Let's um let's, let's 
This one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This one's good, right? So we're gonna go down like this, and then we're gonna come up onto the toes. Okay. So we're gonna start going up from from the bottom. Okay. So that we use both the, the calf muscles that are for when the knee is bent and for when the knee is straight. Right? Let's do it like this. Okay. Remember, we can also do our sumos. Right? Now these are basic, easy style sumos. So there's all these easy ways you can, um, let's do this. Yeah, you can improve, like, okay, make sure you don't um, do lead with your shoulders. Don't lead with your shoulders, okay? You can just like, push your hips out, but just, I don't know, kind of... Let's do that with our uh, feet apart. Slide your uh, hand down here, down there like that. Doesn't, you know, you can go kind of back if you want. Like you should sometimes go back and you should sometimes go forward. You can also go in a full kind of twist like that. Notice how the pace is like very consistent, right? I, I'm doing it at this pace because that's the pace that I personally um, can maintain like a very good conscious awareness and like smooth control of my muscles. More advanced people could, you know, do it very fast and still maintain control. Like a gymnast, look how fast they move. But they're still totally controlled. Okay. Let's, uh, let's just revisit this. See if you can feel your glutes in this one. So, I understand that um, your glutes will go more Like you'll feel it in your glutes more if the action is more about pushing your hips forward. Hip joints, forward. Whereas the alternative would be uh, knees become straight, right? So that's more quads, knees become straight. Whereas this is more hip joints go forward, okay? Let's uh, go like this. So this one's, a, you know, this one can be very difficult. So you only need to go down as low as you feel totally comfortable. You know, if you're watching a tutorial on how to do a lunge, it's like, okay, <laughs> like, but that, that's, that's actually, I know it looks simple, like I can do it, right? I could just make a tutorial on like how to, how to do this, but... Um, usually at the bottom, people will be going into too much tension for their current mobility. Meaning that their joints aren't actually opening. Literally, their joints aren't opening enough to go into that position but they go into that position anyway, and then you get a huge buildup of tension on the joint. That's why you feel that, like, like you might feel at your knee, because it's like the, the required opening, smooth opening, isn't happening. So you just go like, as far as is really comfortable. Yeah, you can do this, the idea behind this, as I said, is you can do it anytime, right? So just say you're walking around your house, whatever, and then you just go. Yeah, 
Well, yeah, you know, you go to the go to the fridge, and then you're like, what's in here? <laughs> what's in this fridge? <laughs> Maybe do that one when no one's around. Yeah, we did yesterday. Uh, well, yesterday, the four like raises. Right? So we got these. But you can also go like this. Like if you do, like for me, it's really become part of my life <laughs> to just kind of do this. You know, like random stuff like this. And even if you think at the moment my performance is reasonably average, you should have seen it before. <laughs> you should have seen it before. So what we're doing here is, um, you don't have to do it with perfect form. We're just kind of like a, we're opening up like this. You can, yeah, this is facing over there. And we're kind of, whew, kind of like that and then just go onto it. You can even do that. You can even bend the knee a bit. Like whatever's comfortable, you know. Whatever is comfortable, that's the idea here. You just do heaps of completely comfortable stuff, but you, but what it allows you to do with it is it actually allows you to do it in your regular life. But by the fact that it's so comfortable and easy, you'll actually do it. Maybe. Let's, let's do um. Yeah, that's good. Let's come up on on here. Let's lower the heels down, but not actually touch. Knees are just gone. Don't have to think about it. The more you think about where you want your knees to go, the, the more wrong you'll get. Because you'll, you'll be like, bit to the left, bit to the right, bit to the left, bit to the right, bit to the left, bit to the right. And you'll get tension on the right, tension on the left, tension on the right, tension on the left, tension on the right, tension on the left. And they'll be like, <laughs> which way, which way? So you can go like this. So form, the physical appearance of the form is not important. I always used to make this mistake. I would try to mimic the physical, the, the external appearance of the form and think that that's what would like allow me to do the exercise correctly. Like if I looked in the mirror when I was doing an exercise, and I'm like, yeah, that looks pretty much exactly like it. Certainly looks more like it than the other people here in the gym who are doing the exercise. But the thing is, if you're so obsessed with um, um, making the way your exercise, making the way you're doing the exercise look like a professional is doing it, then you're using way too much tension, like a lot of excess tension to create that because you don't really need to try to do an exercise correctly, you know? It's just like you just, um, the only thing that really matters is what's going on internally, like the uh, internal configuration of the muscles, right? By the way, this one here, do a lot of these, okay? So we can do this two ways, right? We can do it with a bit of a bend. Okay, that's fine. Or we can do it completely straight leg. And they're both good. Now, something that's like saturated society is that you shouldn't bend your back. This is something I talked with Errol a lot when I first started working with him. I was like, if I bend my back, isn't it going to snap apart or I'm gonna injure a joint or something like that? And that is total bullshit. Like you can, you can totally bend your back. It's a spine. <laughs> it's meant to, it's meant to go like this. Like if you do it in a way where you feel some serious pain, that's probably too much. But any regular bending, like 
like this, if you want to pick up an object or something like that, if you do it consciously and calmly, and, and you're not like, uh, like that, <laughs> like where the blood rushes to your head because like, there's so much tension in the movement. That's fine. And actually, you should bend your back way more than you currently do. What? Like, so much more. Not, not bending your back. Watch, watch this, really poor, right? Fine if you do it like that. Fine. Yeah, in the gym you'd have to be like, perfect form. Perfect. Perfect form. But you don't have to do that. As long as you're working it, that's fine. Okay. Okay. So yeah, check out the other videos. Have fun. See you later.